Hi, this is Swami Rawat. Today I'm going to cover the very much interesting topic which is design and analysis of steel frame building. Without the further delay, let's get started. Talking about the main objective of this course, the main objective of this course is to structural analysis and design of steel frame building and design of steel connections, design of composite floors and comparison between the hand calculation and software design through which we are going to use the various softwares and the detailed design reports and drawings. Talking about the silent features of this project, we are gonna choose the multi-story steel frame residential building which design life is 50 years and which we are gonna use the uh, Australian and New Zealand standards in which uh, 1170.2 as a wind load and 1170.1 as a permanent and imposed loads and we're gonna use that steel code as a 4100 and we use the concrete code of ASNZS 33600 as a concrete design and we use the composite floor of a grade of 32 and we use the extra bracing in y direction and moment resisting frame in x direction I'm gonna tell the all the concept of moment resisting frame and the brass frame in the upcoming following lectures Talking about the computer modeling and analysis, I'm gonna use the software SAP 2000 as a steel design and Limcon is a connection design and also I, I use the hand calculation method for the connection design and for the drafting and estimation purpose I'm gonna use the tech line structures and for the drafting purpose I'm gonna use the AutoCAD. And this overall analysis is the linear analysis and we use the interfere the result as a inter story drift fast and we check the design validation by hand calculation method and finally we design the steel for the optimization process. Let's talk about the section output. These are the sections which are up, which are obtained after designing the steel structures. As you can see, this is the steel sections after completely optimizes optimize as you can see they are the joist beam i'm gonna cover whole lectures about first first design through drafting i'm gonna use cf for the design and the drafting for the tech -like structures and for the connection design i'm gonna use the limcon uh, i also show you the hand calculation method that's why this course is gonna be really interesting. These are the overview of the connection design. There are different connection design which can be uh, complies with the building construction. As you can see here, this is the, this is the rigid connections. I'm gonna tell all the concept about the rigid connections through the upcoming lecture. That's why I'm for 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 this time I'm gonna tell the all the connection that we're gonna use in our project that's why this is the rigid connection we're gonna use the simple connection basic connection and base plate connection these are the models which is extracted from the tech -like structure this is the fixed connection that we interpret in our model and this is the base plate and this is the bracing connection for, for the Connection design actually Limcon is the very useful software for the connection design that we can easily design the connections. These are the connection through which these are the hand calculation checks that I will show you at the end. And talking about the composite floor. I'm gonna design the composite floor as a depth of slab is 120 mm. We use the bond deck for file seating, which is 0.2 VMT, which is acts as a form of, and we use the negative reinforcement of mesh size of SL62. Maybe we will be confusing about the mesh about this term. I'm gonna cover all this term step by step, then it will be easy for you. Uh, this is the beam layer plan. This is overview of beam layer plan, which is I, I have extracted from the tech -like structures. It is very easy. And this is the isometric view of beam layout. 
and finally thank you for this lectures and i'm going to cover all the lectures